SEGA! I couldn't resist. Anyway, hello everyone! This is Matt the Speedstar here, ready to run through a let's play of a game that is very dear to me. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the SEGA GENESIS! So, getting into this game right away, I might as well tell y'all about my experience with Sonic 2. It is the very first video game that I have ever played in my life, and I have been... I, for the most part, remember that I... It's... Ugh. Ugh, sorry, I'm, I'm just... I'm just going through a lot of nostalgia right here, because I love this game to death. And not just because it's like one of the highest rated titles on the Sega Genesis, it is just very dear to me, basic, basically for the nostalgia factor and the fact that Sonic is basically what I grew up with. And I wish I got more rings there, because I want to go into the special stage so I can explain more about the game. I don't know, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can get some catching up to do. There we go. Alright. That's looking good. That's looking good. Yes, very, very good, very good. There should be enough rings right up top. There we are. 50 rings exactly. Touch a checkpoint and you will be transported into a special stage. If you have 50 rings. Now, the plot for this is after defeating Dr. Evil Robotnik in the original Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic decided to take his plane to Tornado and look for more adventure. He decided to go to West Side Island, and that's where he met probably one of the most popular sidekicks and well-known in, in gaming history, Miles Prower. Nicknamed Tails because of the fact that he has two tails, some that he was apparently bullied for. But after meeting Sonic, Tails began to just... Uh, how do I put it? He became interested, and he figured he could help out Sonic somewhat. I don't know. I don't, I, I, sorry if I'm just, like, gushing. I'm just trying to think off the top of the head what the plot is. But anyway, aside from that... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember now. Tails was interested in Sonic's playing the tornado, and that's kind of how they met, really. But then, Dr. Ivo Robotnik appeared and took over West Side Island, looking for the Chaos Emeralds in order to power his most famous and ultimate weapon ever, the Death Egg. So, it was up to Sonic and Tails to stop Dr. Robotnik from getting the Chaos Emeralds and taking over the world with the Death Egg. And that's basically the plot of Sonic 2. Now, there's a lot of things that Sonic 2 did right that that easily trumps over the original Sonic the Hedgehog, making it not as memorable. For one thing, the ability to do the spin dash just by standing. Just stand, crouch, just mash the jump button, and there you go. That's how you do it. Now, now there's a lot more to this I could probably get into. Uh, actually, let's see. There is another checkpoint over this way, and if I can get it just right, I can go for the second Chaos Emerald. Oh, by the way, disclaimer. While I may attempt to, I'm not planning to get all seven Chaos Emeralds. By the way, I should probably bring that up too. This game is also the, the first to introduce the concept of the seven Chaos Emeralds rather than the six. It used to be six, but it's not anymore. However, in the 8-bit... Uh, or Game Gear games, there are still six emeralds instead of seven. But we're not looking at those. I might talk about the 8-bit uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which is actually the first version that came out. I might talk a little more about that as I progress to this game, but honestly, this is the better version. Hands down, it's the better version. Believe me, this does a lot of things right and just... It is not unfairly difficult. At least until we get to the end of the game, in which, yeah, it there's, like, the major difficulty spike. Oh! And bombs! Bombs, that's a thing that is introduced in these special stages. Bombs take up to ten rings, depending on, uh, how many that character has. If that character has more than ten, it automatically takes ten from them. 
Tails usually lags behind a little bit, so Tails might be getting bombed a lot more. So if Tails is in front, you might have a problem. So try to keep the playable character, which in this case would be Sonic, in the front, and that way he gets the bulk of the rings, and you have better chances of getting the Chaos Emeralds. And if you are really... If you really think you can't get all the... Can't get enough rings... Uh, where am I going with this? Yeah, try to get more rings than you usually should, just because in case you don't feel too confident about dodging bombs. That's what I'm trying to go at. Because, I mean, if Tails gets bombed a lot, try to make sure Sonic has at least 10 rings more than required. Or more. Anyway, there we go. That's two of the seven Chaos Emeralds already. Actually, it's possible to get all seven in Emerald Hill alone because with the amount of checkpoints there are around here and the fact that the place is called Emerald Hill, it's pretty obvious that uh, this is where they intend for you to get all seven Emeralds. Because afterwards, there is not going to be that many checkpoints. Okay, now, Emerald Hill Zone... Two. This one right here. That is a really cheaply placed coconuts. Yeah, that there is pretty uh, infamous, but not as infamous as some other stuff that uh, that'll appear later on. This stupid buzzer. I actually took a little bit of time to just review the names of the enemies before I uh, started playing, cause you know. While I might not be going for 100%, I kind of want to at least show that I know this game through and through. Okay, there's a thing up there. This one's a little hard to get to, but if you... Oh, no, you don't! No! Alright. Right, let's, let's get up here. That has a ton of rings. This should allow you to get that checkpoint. Right down here. And there we go. Okay, time for the third special stage. After the second one, these special stages start getting hard. And I mean hard. Even if you're like a really seasoned player who can like play like any kind of game, this is still hard. And I, I, I don't remember how many times I've like gotten all seven Chaos Emeralds on this. I. Actually, I think in all the times I've played this, I've probably only gotten, like, either once or twice have I gotten all seven emeralds. So it's tough, and honestly, it doesn't do all that well when you get all seven emeralds and get supersonic. Oh, by the way, uh, since this game is already well known enough, I don't really need to hide anything, and Tails got hit. Which means he's now in front, and that's a problem. Because I need to grab the rings. If I can't grab the... Yeah, we're screwed. Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, we're screwed. Yep, we are so screwed. Alright, so if I fail at a special stage and I go back in that special stage, I'm just going to cut to when I get to that part. Unless I fail. and In which case, I'll just... Cut out the whole thing. That's how I'm handling this game. Anyway, I at least want to try and go for all the Chaos Emeralds. At least in Emerald Hill. I'm not going to worry too much about later zone. Later zones. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, even when I'm playing my favorite game, I still suck at talking. Uh, I believe there's something interesting up here if you manage to aim yourself just right. Let's see if I can try it. Uh, crap. There! Uh, what? Let's try again. Woo! Nice! Extra life! And, I think you're able to actually get down... I think there's a way to get down there and get an item too, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I don't have enough rings, so I'm gonna jump over that. Take you down, and look for more rings. Alright, let's get up here. Ah, there's like a ton of rings up there. I want them. I want those rings. This looks like a little barrier thing right... A shield power fight there. Normally in, uh... 
in a lot of Let's Plays of this game, because they because of YouTube only being being able to run at 30 FPS at the time, the shield would either be non-existent or completely envelop Sonic. Haha, <laughs> not this time. Anyway, as I was saying, but due to the fact that YouTube now does 60 FPS, I won't have that problem like other Let's Players have. I'll be able to play this game the way it was meant to be played, and show it the way it was meant to be shown. Oh, watch out for that one. There we go. There we go, see, I already got enough rings, and even though Tails got hit, I am perfectly fine. So, third Chaos Emerald, here I am. The red one. Nice. I actually don't think they use the, uh... The colors that they use for the seven emeralds. Ooh, at hundred thousand too. Yeah, I don't think they use the set seven uh, colors that they do in future games, which I think started from Sonic Adventure. I don't know. Anyway, let's try once again. Let's try once again to get fifty rings and go for another checkpoint because there is one. There's always one before the boss. Okay, one thing. I should probably bring that up. One thing that uh, this game does is, instead of three acts per zone, there are two, save for one of the last zones in the game, and probably one of the most infamous zones of the game, has three acts. Other than that, every other act for now is two, uh, is two per zone, and the last three zones are single acts. Alright, last checkpoint. Let's go for the fourth emerald, everyone! And it's gray, but I don't think you get the gray emerald here. I don't know if it's part of this game. I don't know if the, uh... Yeah, yeah. No, it's not gray. It's, uh, white or clear. Whatever you call it. Speaking of, I actually have some, uh... I have some, like, uh, fake ones. Or I guess just... They're modeled like the Chaos Emeralds. Same shape in that, but probably not the same color. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with that. All I know is I have like a, I have like a fake gem. I think it's a cubic zirconium, as they call it. Yeah, I believe I have one of those. It's modeled just like a chaos emerald, and it's like clear, so it's like I have the white emerald. I like holding on to it too because it's, it, it's cool looking. Uh, okay, good. I'm doing it right. And over here, real quick. Oh man, I hope I have enough. Okay, good. I have enough. Whoa! Haha, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Yeah, after this point, you're just... You're just barely remembering anything. Like, these special stages, after, like, the third one, are... Almost, like, complete blanks to me. Uh... Whoa! There we go. I might get it. I just might. Two rings to go. Oh, boy. Oh, nice, nice. That, that's a big relief. Booyah! Ooh, pink emerald. Yeah, there we go. Four emeralds in Emerald Hill Zone alone. This is gonna be a long one. Because, uh, the way I'm handling this is I'm doing two acts per, le per video. Oh, not acts, uh, two zones per video. And, uh, for the finale, I'll be doing the, uh, single acts. Anyway, first boss. Drill Robotnik. Yeah, all the boss names in this one are Robotnik, with just a uh, name ap after it. This one is Drill Robotnik. Obviously, it seems... It doesn't seem like it'd be... I don't know where I'm going with that, but anyway, yeah. This is the first boss, really easy, and there we go. Emerald Hill Zone complete. Yes, yes, I am impatient too, Sonic. I would like to get going on this. And there we go. That's it for Emerald Hill. Now, onto Chemical Plant Zone. This zone got brought into Sonic Generations for the, uh, the console and PC versions. You know, the big, superior version, not like the 3DS one that I had. I have. I keep, I keep talking like I, I don't have it anymore, but... 
I don't know where I'm going with that, and I don't know where I'm going with a lot of stuff. I'm just trying to make stuff up as I go through this game, pretty much. Hey! A anyway, from here on, there's not going to be as many checkpoints. I mean, I, I think it's Emerald Zone Act 2 that has the most checkpoints out of any level with 5. And then just afterwards, there's almost, like, bar barely any checkpoints. Like, you can find a few. Like, you'll definitely find one when you're going through Act 2 of this zone, but... You barely find, like, any checkpoints at all within Chemical Plant Zone Act 1. And that's why this one's easy to get through. And, j and just overall quicker. Then again, considering my name is Matt the Space Star, I might as well make it quick. Although, given my recording time, this is gonna be a long video. This one is. Others, probably not as much. Alright, Oh, right, that's, uh... I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I got the, uh... Generations version on the brain. Honestly, I love what they did with the music there. It was awesome. And I'm... I'm talking both versions, but honestly, I like the modern version a lot more. It's just so catchy, and it just really gets you in the mood. Okay. Now, here is where it introduces something that was that was sort of brought in. Oh, there it is. That down there is not water. That is known as Mega Mac. However, it function it functions exactly like water. With one noticeable difference. That at this really uh, That's like one <laughs> I don't know why, I just like doing the the blubbing noise. I like doing it. And what the heck happened there? What slowed me down? Anyway, checkpoint, so time to go for the fifth emerald! Yay! I should probably be doing this in, like, uh, later acts. I don't know. Uh, later zones. I keep getting zones and acts mixed up. Anyway, these ones start becoming a lot tougher. You see, you got rings on the ceiling now. I don't know if you can call that a ceiling. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. I need those rings. Anyway, this one, you're really gonna want to have to cooperate with Tails with this one. You gotta make sure he can get rings on, like, one side while well, you get rings on the other side so you can maximize how many rings you get. And you gotta really watch yourself, too, because they're gonna be a lot of bombs. There we go. Now, if you had, like, someone else controlling Tails, by the way, you can do that if you're in single player. A second controller will take control of Tails, and he becomes a lot more useful in the, uh, later... Oh, God damn it. Yeah, he becomes really useful in the special stages and boss battles. Unfortunately, given the fact that uh, you're blasting through the levels, unless you're, like, taking your time. Which, why would you in a Sonic game? But yeah, if you're, like, taking your time, then I guess whoever's controlling Tails would really be able to help out. Anyway, I'm taking a big risk right here. I'm jumping into the Mega Mac and heading down here, because there is an extra life. Now, as I said before, Mega Mac behaves exactly like water. When Sonic is underwater, he has a limited amount of time before he starts running out of air. I believe it's an estimate of like 30 seconds before you're out of air and you lose a life. That's just an estimate. I don't really know the, the whole details about that- OH CRAP! Oh boy. And we're now in probably one of the more infamous parts of Chemical Plant. This right here. Now, if you can really time yourself like that, if you can use pro strats like that, you can get out of there before you start getting that alarm jingle, which I'm gonna desperately try to avoid, because I HATE IT! That's like nightmare fuel right there. Oh boy. There we go. Anyway, I doubt I'm getting another emerald this in this one, because, uh... Oh, by the way, try to watch yourself here, because if you go too fast, you could do that. But if you go too fast, you may fall into the Mega Mac. There's a platform under there if you can't make it. Anyway, second boss, Water Robotnik. 
All he's doing is just dumping Mega Mac on you. I don't believe it hurts. But however, you really want to be careful because if you fall, if you fall onto those platforms and they give out, or they just disappear, then you're screwed. Anyway, that's it for Chemical Plant Zone, and that's it for this video. So thank you all for watching, and next time we are going to run through Aquatic Rune Zone and Casino Night Zone. So, I'll see you guys there.